Hey everybody, I'm Melissa Cost with CIR Realty and I'm here with Kristen Mould today and on this episode of Heart and Hustle we're here today with William who runs a boutique landscaping company, um, Renaissance Landscapes. William, thanks for joining us. Well, thanks for having me. And please tell us a little bit about your business. It, uh, it sounds awesome and it, it's very specialized so we'd love to hear a little bit about it. Yeah, we're a small company in Calgary that tends to um, shall we say, you know, like the 1% group for the most part, we do a lot of small jobs. We maintain properties for the most part. When I started some 22 years ago, I got into landscaping because that's what I did in Ontario, I paid my way through school as a pastry chef. So when I moved out here as a pastry chef, you know, I was indoors with the mountains and the sun and kayak and I want to be outside. So I quit, went back to cutting grass and haven't looked back. So it's been great, but I service the people in the downturn economy that still have a dollar to spend. So I was very fortunate that way. They're not doing a patio this year because they may not be allowed to, but they're still cutting grass. So that's right. what I do. A lot of estates, uh, acreages for the most part, and then uh, high-end condominium boards or individuals who want individual attention. Right. That's, that's my business for the most part. And you have some key neighborhoods that you mm -hmm. primarily focus on. Yeah, they started out in uh, Elbow Valley. Uh, Springbank, Bear Spa, and Aspen Woods and Aspen Estates there. I started off in Elbow Valley, believe it or not, and my first client was Allison Grafton from Rockwood Custom Homes. Oh, wow. And I still take care of that original house. She's moved from there, but I still take care of that house. And we do maintenance work for Rockwood Custom Homes uh, properties when they're finished, it seems. So that we have so far, so it's been really good. That's awesome. Um, and so now would be your busy time of year and you're mm -hmm. wrapping up to um, start maintaining all of the <clears throat> Yeah, springtime is a huge, huge time of year for a landscape company, any landscape companies. For sure. uh, uh, the benefit with myself is because we do some bed work, lawn maintenance, uh, property aesthetics, power wash of the driveways, things of that nature we can go ahead and start. The acreages we put off a little bit because we have heavy equipment that has to go on the property. My job's not to cause damage to the property. So we try to tend to other clients and then go over to the acreages when they're a little bit drier. We're not building patios right now because the weather's not really conducive for that. So some of those guys are gonna be put off work for a little while. They'll be tending to cleaning the roads of salt or sand or things of that nature, right? Where right. we don't have to do that, so it's good. Perfect. And so for um, people that aren't able to utilize a boutique landscaping service, what would you tell them right now? What's the advice that you would give them in terms of um, <clears throat> maintaining their, their own lawns? So the biggest thing right now is the cleanup. Uh, now, if your lawn is saturated, I wouldn't touch it. I would let it dry out a little bit. I don't let it get too, too dry because a lot of the dead grass comes up really easy when it's wet in the spring. And it's just easier to manage sometimes. It's a little bit heavier, but clean it up. We re-edge the beds, pull out all the weeds, cut back all the perennials that you, you know, at that time. You can trim some of the shrubs if you want now. We trim them in the wintertime, but now you can. We re-edge the beds. You find if you re-edge the beds and re-edge your driveway and your sidewalk after you've done everything, it really pops. And then if you add mulch, great, great thing to put in, right? Nice. So you just top up now and then you're done for the year. As long as you're fertilized as well, you're great. And dethatching is either a power rake or a nice broom, a rotator broom or things of that nature. A lot of people aerate, which is good. They just don't know why they're aerating. If your lawn's compacted because of a lot of traffic, aerate. If it's not, aerate about every three years. Very good, that, that's great advice. Um, and so if anybody mm. wanted to reach out to you um, in, in your service areas, they can get in touch with you through our Park Bench website. Um, yep. They can visit www.parkbench.com forward slash Arbor Lake and uh, all of your contact details will be on there. And if you'd like to be okay. featured on our program, please do reach out. And thanks for joining us today, William. Well, it's my pleasure. Thanks for having me.